Welcome to the fifth lesson on how to solve polynomial inequalities that are not in factored form. Remember the steps to first move everything to the left so that the right is equal to zero. Second, factor the left. Third, create the sign table for the expression on the left. And fourth, give your answer from the sign table in the desired form. For example, to solve graph and provide interval notation for the solution set of the inequality 4x squared less than or equal to 1 minus 3x. First, we will move everything to the left, which means that we will add 3x and subtract 1 from both sides of the inequality we get 4x squared x minus 1 less than or equal to 0. Then we will factor the left which is a quadratic so we're going to use the AC method. The factorization is going to be 4x minus 1 times x plus 1 less than or equal to 0. Then we will create the sign table for the expression on the left. It has two rows, one for the factor 4x minus 1 and the other for the factor x plus 1. Remember that the sign table is based on a number line. For the factor 4x minus 1, the 0 is 1 quarter and the factor is 0 when x is equal to 1 quarter positive to the right of it and negative to the left that is values less than one quarter for the factor x plus one the zero is negative one the factor is zero when x is negative one positive when x is greater than negative one and a negative when x is less than negative one and finally we have uh, the last row which is the expression on the left, the product of the two factors. And it's going to be negative times negative positive, negative times zero, zero, negative times positive, negative, zero times a positive, zero, and positive times a positive is a positive. After the table is completed, we are ready to answer our question. So we are in step number four. Less than or equal to zero means negative or zero. Negative or zero is at x equal to negative one, at x equal to one quarter and in between. So our interval notation is closed negative one comma one quarter closed because it is equal to and our graph is the number line negative one one quarter the area in between these two values and closed circles at negative one and at one quarter to show the equality Let's follow the same process to solve the polynomial inequality x to the third plus x squared less than or equal to 4x plus 4. First we want to move everything to the left so we will subtract 4x and we will subtract 4. We will get a polynomial less than or equal to 0. In the next step we want to factor the left. It is a polynomial with four terms so we're going to factor by grouping. To factor by grouping we cut it in half. Greatest common factor on the left x squared times x plus 1. Greatest common factor on the right is negative 4 times x plus 1. x plus 1 is the greatest common factor and x squared minus 4 is the other factor but x squared minus 4 is a difference of squares so it factors as x plus 2 x minus 2 so we factored the polynomial on the left 
So this sign table has three rows for the three factors x plus 1, x plus 2, and x minus 2. The 0 for x plus 1 is negative 1. And this is positive to the right and negative to the left. x plus 2 has 0 at negative 2 and it is positive to the right and negative to the left. x minus 2 has 0 at 2. It is positive to the right and it is negative to the left. The expression on the left, which is the product of the three factors, will be negative 0, positive 0, negative 0, and positive. And our solution less than or equal to 0 means negative or 0. So it is in this area negative or equal to 0 equal to 0, negative equal to 0. In interval notation, negative infinity, comma, negative 2, closed, union, closed, negative 1, 2, closed. And as a graph, negative 2, negative 1, and 2, it will be a closed circle at negative 2 and to the left, a closed circle at negative 1 and to the right, and a closed circle at 2. Now on your own, try to solve graph and provide interval notation for the inequality given x to the third less than or equal to 2x squared minus x. Pause the video, solve the problem, and after that compared to the final answer that is going to show below when you resume the video.